everyone, thanks for tuning in for today's video. My name is Lina, welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to talk to you about one of my favorite lipsticks. It's actually very long overdue because I meant to do this review last year. These lipsticks are uh, one of the favorites that I found in 2021, but it just did not happen. I never got a chance to do it. But better late than never, I still wanted to talk to you about them because I do think uh, these are fantastic lipsticks. I still enjoy them myself a lot. I reach for them quite often. And uh, these are just really good lipsticks. So I wanted to talk to you about Givenchy Lou Rouge Sheer Velvet Lipsticks. So as you see, I have four shades here. So um, initially I just got one shade and I ended up liking the formulation really a lot. Then every time I spotted a good sale, I added a couple shades here and there. So I ended up with four shades and I'm very happy with them. So today I wanted to talk to you about the presentation of the lipstick, the formulations, and of course good swatches. And I will also do a live demonstration so that you can see these colors on me in context. So that's the video for today. I hope you keep watching. So first of all, can we appreciate how beautiful the packaging is? It's pink, it's velvet, very slick and substantial. And I just love this lipstick case so much. Of course, Givenchy has uh, brought out very beautiful limited edition uh, casing looking just like that with different embossment and prints and everything. But this pink velvet is just really beautiful and outstanding, I think. And another good thing about this lipstick range is that they also offer bullets only so if you ever end up using a lipstick inside you can just uh, purchase the body then keep using this beautiful case i mean honestly speaking i haven't used up a lipstick in a very long while so i don't know when that's going to happen but if it ever happens i'll be very happy and it's good to know that there is an option to be less wasteful and let me talk about the lipstick formulation itself. I would describe this lipstick as a soft matte lipstick with sheer pigment. So uh, it's not a transfer proof kind of matte lipstick. Uh, it will still come off a little bit on your mask and uh, it will come off very gradually and the way it wears off is really natural. I think it's really important when it comes to long lasting lipstick and with daily activities like speaking, eating, drinking, it will last on you just fine and I really like the level of pigmentation. So with one swipe, you will have really sheer, beautiful, soft, blurred kind of finish and it will still let your natural lip color show through, which is very, very nice in my opinion. But with a couple more swipes, you can pretty much achieve full coverage with this lipstick. The only possible downside will be the fragrance. I personally don't mind it, but it's very classic, old school kind of powdery, flowery lipstick scent. So some might find it a little bit off-putting, but other than that, I can really fault this lipstick. Uh, I think it's over a really great lipstick formulation. So let me talk about the colors next. Uh, so starting with number 18, Nude Fume, that means smoky nude, and I think the color name couldn't be more perfect. As you see here, this is a mauve nude pink with some deeper undertone. It has some purple cool brown undertones and very interesting and unique color. I don't think I own anything like this. This will be perfect complementary to matte smoky eyes and then this is more like a moody fall kind of lipstick color. It's not exactly the best color on me but I just love the color for what it is. Next, I have number 23, Rose Irresistible, and this is very bright, complexion brightening, cool toned uh, pink color, rosy pink. I think it's perfect for spring. Next, I have the red shade. This is number 36, Lengdardi, and this is Givenchy's signature red. So they have the same shade in different formulation. The same color exists in the classic velvet formulation as well as the classic Lou Rouge formulation. It's not too warm, not too 
cool is very neutral red but very youthful and a brightening shade as well next up i have number 36 rouge grenet and uh, this is sophisticated deep red with cool undertones this one is also quite popular shade so Givenchy offers different formulations in this particular shade really happy to see this classic color in this sheer matte formulation as well so now I'd like to show you some photo swatches and I also made some close-up lip swatches this time. So after that, I will show you, uh, you know, live demonstrations so that you can see the colors in context. This is number 18, Nude Fume. Next up is number 23, Rose Irresistible. Now we have number 36, Length of D. This one is number 37, Rouge Grenet. So I guess that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and spending your time with me. I really appreciate it. And let me know if you have tried this lipstick formulation, what's your experience with them. I would love to know. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you can. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.